I'm an endocrinologist and a medical researcher. I've studied type 1 diabetes for over 30 years. Type 1 diabetes affects 150,000 Australians. Every day, seven people are diagnosed with this condition, many of them children. Once diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, a person needs to be treated with insulin given by injection or by pump for the rest of their lives. Our goal is to change this. Type 1 diabetes occurs when the body's immune system, which normally protects us from infection, mistakenly attacks the insulin producing cells called beta cells. Insulin is essential to get the glucose from food into the body's cells like muscle cells to provide fuel and also to store for later use. Without insulin, the levels of glucose in the blood can reach dangerously high levels. And in addition, the body begins to break down other tissues like fat and muscle to get alternative fuels. Our team, one of Australia's largest type 1 diabetes research groups, is currently running a clinical trial to test a new drug treatment for type 1 diabetes. Our trial will test whether this new drug, baricitinib, can prevent the immune system from destroying the remaining insulin producing cells. Baricitinib is already in use for treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. We're seeking people aged 12 to 30 who have been diagnosed with diabetes in the last 100 days to join this world first trial. I've been working on type 1 diabetes here for 10 years and I'm really excited to be working on the Bandit trial this year. A new diagnosis of type 1 diabetes can be really stressful and there's a lot to get your head around as you get on top of insulin dosing to control your blood glucose levels. We're going to work closely with people to try and help them do this as best and as easily as they can and we're also hopeful that those who receive the baricitinib tablet will find their diabetes easier to manage because the tablet will help preserve their pancreas function. As Tom mentioned, the BANDIT trial is open to people aged between 12 and 30 years who've been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes within the last 100 days. Participants in this study will provide their medical history and will perform a physical examination to make sure there are no reasons they shouldn't join the study. We'll do some extra blood samples, including a meal test to measure pancreas function. And for some visits, the participants will wear a glucose monitor so that we can track their glucose profile through the day. Two in three participants will receive the baricitinib tablet and one in three participants will receive a placebo which contains no active ingredients. We need to use the placebo so that we can be sure that any benefit we see is due to baricitinib. There are 12 visits during the first year and two visits during the second year, so it's quite a sizable time commitment. However, we do work around people's schedules and some of the visits can be performed over the telephone so that you don't have to come into the hospital. We're expecting to fill the study this year and to be able to report our findings in 2023. On behalf of all of us working at Bandit, thanks for your interest and please visit our website for more information. We look forward to partnering with you so that we can develop safer and more effective treatments for type 1 diabetes.